Hello friends, Tony here, welcome. So let me just fix this uh, design here inside the post index and we are going to work with the edit form in this video. So I'm going to open the VS Code and here we are inside the index, we have this UL here and then we make a for each and pass in the div. And instead of the UL, I'm going to make this a div and add the class uh, grid, grid calls one, MD grid calls two, and large grid calls three. Okay, let's save and let's see now. Yeah, now we have something like this. Okay. Also, let me fix a little bit the show page. So on the show blade, I'm going to cut this and add the with the class to be uh, max width 6xl mx auto. I'm going to add also margin top to be 8. Let's add also pg to be slate uh, 50 and I'm going to add around it to be large. And paste that in and let's close the div. Let's save, come here. Yeah. Add some classes also on the H1. So the text is going to be 3xl. And also let's add text to be indigo 800 and font to be a uh, semi bold like this come here we have first post and the content here let's say also the content to be p4 and margin bottom to be for like this and now we are okay now with that here on the show page a link so the same link we have here on the index so let's copy this one and paste it right here let's save go to the second post and we have this create just inside the section now without a margin top of uh, four and now we are okay instead of create we're going to say edit and we need to change also the URL now here we have hard code that do a URL also in here and let's use now from now the route names also okay so here we have route list for the post create we have post.create as a name post show we have post.show and when we have this post slash Curly braces, single curly braces, and the post. We need to add also the post ID here. Okay, so when we use the post dot show, and we have this, we need to add also the ID. Okay, let's use that. So post create. We're going to say double curly braces and route. Just close this. So double click braces to the route helper method and here we specify the name which is post create in this case. Let's save, then let's go to this one and for this we need the edit. So if I come here, we have here post, pass in the post and then slash edit and the name is post edit. Let's do that. Let's use the route. So route, and here we add post edit, but also we need to add the ID here. So the first argument is the route name, and then we also need to add the post ID because we have here the URL post slash post slash edit. Okay, I think we are good. Now let's save. Let's come here. If I go to edit, we are inside the post edit page. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to create. And here I'm going to select all copy and paste it inside the edit page. So select all also here and paste that in. Change the header to be post edit page. Also on the create, let me just navigate there. Uh, 
let's go up when we have a method both and the action is slash both also here we can use the route so double colibrisus and say route post store okay we are okay now let's save let's close this also on the edit we are going to use the same thing so we are going to use the route and here we say the name as a first argument post update and also we need to add the post id because on the put and patch here we have the name which is post update but also we need to add the post okay if i save that and let's come here yeah first we have an undefined variables post we add it here and that's it because on the edit method now here we're able to receive the post okay so when we say route post edit we pass also the post id which we are going to receive here and we can just say post id here or we can use the route model binding so the same thing we have done here just passing the model post dollar sign post and then here we are going to add post on the edit blade so now we are okay if i come here and refresh yes because we are inside the edit page we need to fill the title and the content for that inside the input i'm going to say value to be equal with double quality braces and we use the old method passing here the name title comma the post title Okay, so if we put something in the title and we have the error, it's going to remain that one. Otherwise, just add the post title. If I save and come here, we have the second post. Now for the content, we have text area and here is going to be something different. We're going to add inside the tag text area. Here, use the old method. for the title for the content and also here just say dollar sign post content let's save and let's come here let's go to post let's say second post edit the second post we have second post and something go to post number six edit we have post number six and yeah let's change also this button to say update okay so set of store we're going to say update yeah now let's update the post on the post controller we have uh, this update method which has a request and also the post injected and what we need to do is just to update that post so we can say dollar sign validated and yeah say the request validate passing the title and the content the same we have also when we create the post okay and then we have the validated data and here now let's say the last sign post update passing the validated then what we need is to return the route post index okay save and let's test this so we have post number six i'm going to change the content so i'm going to say content for post number six say update and yeah we have the post method is not supported for the route post slash six and why is that because here on the form we use the method post but we are going to update not the post the store so the method is going to be put or patch and instead of passing here put or patch we're going to say method 
and specifying the method here. In this case, I'm going to say put. If I save now, go back and refresh. Let's say now a uh, content for post number six update. We redirected back and here we have post number six and now the content for post number six. Okay, good. We can also change the title. So let's edit post number six. Number six. I'm going to update it. We can say update and we have post number six updated. So the update method works correctly. We can also che uh, check if the validation works. So if I remove everything and say update, we have the title field is required and the content field is required. If I refresh, we have the same thing. If I just say uh, a content for post number seven here and remove this one, say update, now we have only the title field is required. So also the validation works. Okay, friends, that's it all about this video, what I wanted to show you. And if you like such a video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like the video, share with your friends and see you in the next one. All the best. Thank you very much.